Hey, it's Eric Leo 108, the sociologist, philosopher, and hip hop artist with the Sunday update for May 26, 2024, although it's Saturday, May 25th. I'm doing this today because I'm busy for the holiday weekend. I'll give the Sunday update and then I'll read the blog post blog post for Theory of Love. I'm currently live on Instagram on another phone. The latest release is the Heavy Hitters EP, which features Karis One, Gucci Mane, Snoop Dogg, and Just Dropped May 17th. The industry album, which has more industry features than tracks, and the and the six-track West Side Connection EP are notable releases this year. Pussy Poppin', the eight-track album, drops July 5th, and you can cop it a month early on Even that has two extra tracks, one which features Juicy J. You can read, you can find a short blog post about each release on the ericleo.org new release blog. Okay. Uh, that was the Sunday update. This is the working projects and personal update. I'm still waiting for approval for the Cato and Wish album on Even. I'm still waiting for the second wave of Mr. Congeniality from Keanu. I told Keanu to put it on the back burner and produce... Uh, the Espresso, Espresso Remix first. We'll talk about it. I didn't even know I was already set up for Instachamp like it was already connected to my Facebook account and Rick gave me a code to get platinum for life. Uh, thank you, Rick. Great tools and saving so far. I wrote some lyrics to more Kyle Beats for the next Kyle Beats Collective. I wrote a hilarious eight-bar dad joke uh, lyrics about Queen Elizabeth I got from a post I saw on Instagram from Science is Fun, link in the description. I wrote the Espresso Remix Monday, May 20th, recorded the practice tracks the next day and the final vocals on the 24th. Before I wrote the remix, I asked Rick how I could sell it to Sabrina's label. He said to make the remix and do my due diligence by getting my fans to tag Sabrina. I just want to admit... Uh, I bit Mr. Mathers, Mr. Marshall Mathers. I basically rewrote the beginning of Drug Ballad to fit Espresso. Although I don't think he would have any grounds for legal action, I would just like to thank Mr. Marshall Mathers for the inspiration. Don't come for me, Marshall. If you haven't already, how can I make you feel good about this? I hope you're doing well. Little advice from Rick. Ads are hooks. Ads are hook, story, and offer. And your website, people, and on your website, people should be able to see you, hear you, and connect with you. I went live this week. Still no, still no one really showing up. I only go live for about fifteen minutes before I'm like, screw it. Uh, sometimes I skip it. Apparently, Music Match is still going through changes, and that's why I'm temporarily locked out of my features and lyrics. So I still haven't got all my lyrics up yet, and it's not my fault. I decided Tuesday is my day to make content, and if I didn't do it on Tuesday, I have to do it on Wednesday. I set an alarm to remind myself. There's also Taco Tuesday at Taco Bell, which I always look forward to. Ryan, he brought up. Uh, Ryan, he brought it up, Ryan did, at the group last Saturday, this last Saturday, about the best strategies for content creation. We both agreed it has to be somewhat easy or you'll lose motivation. You should make your content in batches and film once or ever... Uh, Film once every or every other week. I still need a videographer or investor for the video side. I haven't made any progress with the Global Warming EP. I'm still just brainstorming. I haven't written more because I'm waiting to do some research about the subject. I got more royalties in. It wasn't enough to pay off. I got more royalties in. It was enough to pay off my credit card. With the money, I'm getting Joe Lee, who did the vocals for the upcoming You single to sing the hook for be mine I'm, I'm also i also i'll also use the money to start and maintain my tune pipe website i'll have a bigger budget for help if i need it on the website i have that taylor swift response over that rust remix i sent away to have the beat remade by omar I haven't made any progress on the funnel or website yet. I haven't put the I haven't pulled the trigger on tune pipe yet. I'm just being lazy now because I have the money to get it done. Eric, when you start your blog again, make sure you your 108 book is the first post and your read 108 song is the second so your books are included on your new releases. 
I probably won't spend that much on production actually, like beats or features for the next year. Like I said, I'm going to take a step back, but that's only because I took two steps forward this year. I'll only keep this pace up if I have the money for it. I pretty much went all out. I wanted a catalog, I wanted a catalog under my belt. I'll still release every first, third, and fifth Friday of the month, but it won't be EPs and albums back to back like it was this year, unless I get the money, it'll be just singles. I can always use Ryanie Beats to save money now. I wrote the last paragraph, then I saw I got royalties in and decided to spend $100 on the Wish Master Wayne feature, little Wayne feature. I really like the beats and Wayne is one of the goats, so I couldn't pass it up. I'm not going, I'm not gonna get Anno Domini's Prodigy Pack, although, for example, the artist has to be big or I have to want to get on the track with them. These Big major features are growing my audience and I can't afford not to do it. I really like asking people, do you know, insert famous artists like Snoop Dogg or Exhibit and they say yes and I'm like, well, I have a song with them. Excuse me. The perception of it gives me instant legitimacy and uh, draws people's intrigue. And everyone knows who Lil Wayne is. Honestly, with that said, I can't Thank all my major features, Anno Domini and Witchmaster enough. You've made my dreams come true and make a hard business easier to break through. I would like to thank Gaia for blessing me with these feelings of abundance. Gaia wants you to know that we have plenty to feed the poor and hungry. What we don't have enough for is to feed billionaires greed. Okay, that was the... That was part of the Sunday update. This is the blog post for Theory of Love, which comes out May 31st. Theory of Love is my 78th official release and my 120th track published. This is soulful hip hop about spreading some love. I'm not Eminem. I just write like him. That's a lyric in there. In there. I can't tell you how many times I have... How many people have told me I sound like Eminem? Probably not in tone, but I did jack his style without content, without the content, anger, or bad attitude. I naturally write like M because he's my biggest influence, and I like the way he sounds, so I want to adopt his sound, and uh, the way he writes lyrics. And I have intentionally adopted his cadence. I have a KRS One, I have KRS One content with Eminem's cadence. An, em an immortal technique, attitude, Drake's approach, and Kendrick's delivery. The beat is by Tantu. The song was produced by da David James of Forest Hills Audio. And the cover art was made by XOXO Designs from Fiverr. Okay, that's it. That's all I have for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of my family. You're awesome. I love you very much. And until next time, you take care, all right? Bye.